evening everybody and we are live <laughs> your father wouldn't show up but hey here we are no i just overslept but we always show up so now we have a very late show with who none other than our special guest dj pimenta so we are live now let me send dj a request and we can begin but how you guys been? How you guys liking the show so far? Hey, Black Chocolate. Yes, sir. What's poppy? Our guest is coming on right now. Ooh, tonight's show we're going to be talking about um the nightlife and the dating scene. You know, because so many of us, so many people get girls at the nightclubs. So who else to hear from? Than DJ Pimenta himself. Yes. To listen to me, what dope, man? What's popping? When is my How are we? Yes, yeah, nah. I can see you and I can hear you perfectly. Can you hear me? Yeah. I thought my internet is tripping, man. You're not getting mobile for that bullshit. Yeah, no. PS is fucking us up today. Lately. I don't know what to say, they just keep fucking up. But nah, we here, we here. My brother, introduce yourself, please. Do I have to? Come on, man. <laughs> Teacher Pimenta, bro. You know, I don't need to say much. Mm -hmm. Okay, DJ Pimenta is shy, doesn't want to introduce himself, but I believe everybody already knows him. I'm going back to straight to business, right? DJ Pimenta, as you know, this show is about relationship and attraction and all these crazy things. We're trying to understand and help men and women also yeah. in terms of relationship and having a you being one of the kings of the nightlife, mm -hmm. so that's why our topic today, which is going to be the nightlife and the dating scene. You know, how does that impact with your work? I believe you can to say. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? DJ Lacey, what's popping? Let me see. I'm I'm gonna try and test in the test in the computer to see if I can hear. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I can hear you. What's happening this all time, man? No. Nah? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Is this Let's internet? <laughs> 100, DJ. Um, my first question will be, right? What are the uh, things that you have noticed you know, in the nightlife that completely turned you off in both genres that they do in the nightlife? I, I, I can't hear you. What? other things that completely turn you off in terms of attraction game that you see during the night in the nightlife like in the clubs how do guys and girls move around that you see no these niggas actually fucking up a word of advice and the girls the same thing like mm -mm, these ladies are way too wretched or something like that yeah but i i i, I believe that is is everywhere, bro. It's not like really a turn off. <laughs> this is just how people have fun, you know. I believe 
that everybody that goes to the they go to have fun. Depends on how they behave. You know, but it's not really turning off for me just somebody having fun, man. <laughs> that was actually your part of the fun. Okay, yeah. what are your top three red flags? Huh? What are your three red flags? When she like kick and that's wrong, or just like in, or just in like terms of relationship, everything, relationship, life in general, there's no bullshit. That's <laughs> like red flag. I think I, I only in relationship because I can hear you in the computer. Okay. Okay. No, but I'm just watching. Actually, I'm actually just focus on what you're saying because I barely can hear you. Can we end it and start again? No, because I can hear you perfectly. Can the guys hear hear us? Just check. The guys can hear us. I think I'm only replacing you. You know? This is a Huh? What are some of your favorite songs to dance to? Me? Yeah. Bro, I can to any to anything, bro. You know me. <laughs> As long as it's vibing, mm, I don't really have preference. You really know me, bro. I listen to anything. Yeah, even the next week. Just me shaking my head. Doesn't even matter the genre, bro. I'm just vibing to anything. No? What is yeah. some of your favorite clubs to go to? Play? Mm. Like in Vindu? Yeah. Well, my media in general. <laughs> nah, I've been few clubs around that I can mention. Like Vindo people, there's they quite few. Like I can say Mint Club, The Loft, The Catch. Yeah, number, <laughs> number one on my list is because it's my house. You know, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always gotta put the house. But have you only mentioned the days? The days. What yeah. about the job? What about Chicago? Yeah, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah, everybody go talk very fast. Uh, um, uh, um, it's not like I really go out, bro. If you see me going out in the weekend, it's because I'm going to work. The clubs I mentioned, is, there are clubs like I've been the yeah. most, you know. Yeah. It's like the clubs have been like not going to chill you know, as you work yeah let me say for example mint club and in chicago uh go to the club yeah and before I start my day just to have a drink for the ambience uh i've been in chicago a couple of times yeah i think the last i was there the previous weekend yeah the people with the I just don't remember okay. food. Yeah. yeah, but it's a, it's, it's okay. also a good spot to, to go, you know, to chill. Okay, so... Um, and you, I think you are happy where, bro. Which club you like to go the most? Your favorite, your number one? Um, I think I'm done with clubs. Yeah. I don't want to say <laughs> this, but... Yeah. <laughs> It's been a long time coming, but we gotta move on from that kind of life and that sort of lifestyle. But clubs that I really enjoy being, and I'll mention why I like them. It's karaoke on Tuesday. This is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, ne? Yeah. At Mint. I fucking love that shit. Why? Yeah. Because I love karaoke. Yeah, and Wednesdays yeah. is the best in town you know then i'll go for temperature also on wednesday 
we cause temperature on Wednesday. They got some crazy specials, and they got this game. No, game night is on Tuesday. That was mm. very dope. That's why, because I love just to play games, and you know, then there's vinyls. Nice place to chill and just become and meet people, which is the I purpose know. of this whole conversation. Yeah, vinyls, vinyls is very cool. Um, and then I go to Jokers on Saturdays. Because Saturday Joker, they have these $15 or $10 shooters. God damn it, it is wasted. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you waste it, it makes it easy to communicate and do all the crazy things that you know, you want to do. They even need to Sorry? Much, bro. And Jokers, you yeah. don't spend much. Yeah, brother, just put your two hundred dollars in your pocket. Budget, get yourself this budget on some mm -hmm. Yeah. So, going back to our topic, which is relationship, you said you don't have no red flags. You're a very weird guy, so you just take everything and anything. Uh huh. What to say? What are your red flags get it, bro. in a relationship? What are your red flags in a relationship? Number one, disrespect. <laughs> Number two, having somebody he got like a little trust issues. <laughs> Number three is what? Oh, wow. Nah. Hello everyone. Yeah. yeah, the the rest we handle, bro. Alright. Yeah. So it's respect and trust issue. Yeah. Okay, then what are the five things that attract you in a female? Bro. Who got time for you? Yeah. Right. right. For me, it's not even about beauty, you know. Yeah, a good vibe, man. Yeah, if we vibe, it's good. <laughs> I, yeah, no look, look no I heard somewhere, I heard somewhere that men are not supposed to talk things about vibes and stuff like that. Vibe is only nah. men. Because they'll be like, what the fuck do you mean vibe? What the fuck is vibe? <laughs> Can you be more specific? You can't be like, fine. Ah, bro. <laughs> that's, 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 that's. Firstly, good vibe. Otherwise, we're not going nowhere. You know? <laughs> yeah. Starting with a good vibe, and then the respect comes after. Let's respect each other and we move on. You know? <laughs> Right, that's it. That's it. Hey, yeah, that's it. Do you? Do you? Okay, not cute, but you cannot also talk to a baboon. <laughs> you know, yeah. All right. Okay. So, to vibe, but you're very weird, man. Just vibe. That's yeah. the only thing. Not really the only thing, right? I mentioned a couple of things, but the vibe. Do you have, do you have to start? Okay, for, imagine, like you you asked before, like about about the nightlife, bro. Right. Me just meeting somebody during the night, you know. Even if after that spot, I have to go to another spot, I can get the energy, you know, to invite her to come. Like, if I get a good vibe, you know. <laughs> Come on, hey. Sure, sure. I'm popping after. Now, that corner, bro, are you, are you willing to, you know? It's a good vibe. Okay. Corner. What's your favorite pickup line? Pickup line. Yeah, and does it work? Yeah. Yeah, be working a couple times. <laughs> Yeah, because <coughs> they're approaching a bigger ass booty. I'll tell her, mommy. Mm -hmm. Do you know that you don't think so? Do you 
You like chicken yeah, wings? Yeah, them. Yeah, she be like, hmm. Then I go again with some tobacco. What that sauce? Wait. Um, God damn, I forgot the sauce. Oh. You know that, that barbecue? You know chicken wing with the barbecue sauce? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other lady yesterday she even answered, "Hmm, finger looking good." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said that once yes. you say that, um, what's the next step? <laughs> uh, After you said, "Mommy, finger looking good with the barbecue sauce," but I realize is it what you say or how you say? Because this looks like it makes no sense, but you said it works. <laughs> you, know, you know, girls, they like funny guys, bro. You, you gotta come with some funniest line, bro. Still be like, hmm, what I'm trying to say, bro. You know, trying to get in her brain <laughs> to see if she can think. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, but I think what is the coolest way? Mm. No, true. What is the quick, the quickest way or the best way to get a girl outside of the club? Hey, hey, I don't know, man. It's not like snap your fingers, bro. <laughs> oh, serious? Yes, you're teaching niggas games. That's the purpose of the life is to teach niggas game. Mm. Hi, Teresa. Really, I'm not into the game like that, bro. But my game is not really like that, bro. It's not really like okay. that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I also like talking stage, bro. You know, not just like bam, whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah. So, what is the craziest thing that has happened to you in the club? Hey, Auntie, trying to kidnap me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Auntie was not getting at me, bro. <laughs> I had to dodge. <laughs> yeah, well, that part of the movie, Auntie was that like, let's go. It was very funny, though. It's like, as I'm performing, yeah. I just keep on bringing shots. Bring me shots. Then she came, what are you drinking? You know what I usually drink. Yeah, and then she went to give me a drink, but I'm like, whoa, 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 who's paying for that? <laughs> I'm not ordering now of this shit. She said, nah, don't worry. The lady in the corner, the, mm, when I turn around, God damn. I was like, okay. And then, and then she approached me, she came to, talk. She came to, to the DJ booth to talk to me. Yeah, I had a quick conversation. Then she was like, where are you going from here? You know, I said, no, nah, I'll go home. <laughs> Nah, she gave me some good ideas, but I was like, I know what is coming. So, yeah, let me just dodge, you know. I said, okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. The club closed, uh, uh, or was the last DJ playing? The club closed. I picked up my stuff. Then I had to go to the office to collect my cash. Yeah, from there, bruh, I just left when everybody was done cashing up. Then I came out, she was gone. I was like, yeah. Thank God. For me. <laughs> yeah. She was waiting, bro. She was waiting for me outside. I said, nah. Nah, it's, it's, not, it's not about that life, bro. <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> no, that's very really interesting that you um, you got kidnapped while a lady wanted to kidnap you. So, mm -hmm. my, my second question is you think um, your status as a DJ in a public figure gives you an unfair advantage in the dating game compared to other niggas, the regular ones? Nah, not really, bro. Because not now we have this society of women monkey branching, is it what it's called nowadays? Because ladies don't want to be dating down, they're trying to date up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. You know, be in one relationship and trying to jump onto the next relationship. Nah, bro. Not really. Uh, 
how do you see the dating scene in this city of Windhoek today and age? Mm. Being honest, no. No, no, nowadays people don't like don't date for love. People date for help. For help, can you elaborate more on that sense? <laughs> for dating for help. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Uh, especially females. God damn, bro. It's even said, bro. People now they, they don't they don't date like really love. Nah. Not really. It's like now now nowadays it's like it's, it's more like you can afford me. You know <laughs> the fuck bro. <laughs> nah. Nah, it's weird bro. Now nah, it's weird. Right? The same way girls they don't want broke niggas. Nowadays also <laughs> broke niggas they don't want broke girls, bro. Broke <laughs> broke niggas don't want broke girls. But then if you are broke, you really are not in a position to defend. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got no options. So that's why we are doing this to try to teach men and women how to have more options. Because in today's age, if we check before men used to you know, rain the work market, the business market, students market, everything managed to be the champions. But for the first time in history, we actually see an uprising in women, whereby women are now leading by 60% in schools and businesses. You know, now we see more women entrepreneurs than men doing business. This was supposed to be our shit. But now the ladies of all that with me and all that bullshit actually outshining the guys and that is actually putting some niggas in a corner so that's why i say when you are broke you have no choice you know you ain't got options like that song i got i got i got i got options <laughs> so <laughs> and do you do you even think that chick is gonna she will hang with a broke nigga you know she no, that's some right yes yes but then the truth is that only 20 percent or 10 percent actually the people that qualify for that and we're trying to enlarge in that gap let's at least make it to 50 percent because otherwise we people are gonna go to war because wars are fought because of women come on look at the trojan war <laughs> some story they said that i went to go cut the world because a woman broke his heart you know, so careful creates a lot of dangerous things. So right, we're just I, trying to help. I don't think no, nowadays. I don't. I don't even think niggas. Niggas are like too focused on that. You know, niggas are scared for females. You know, you yes. Know, you get what I'm saying? Why? <laughs> why does your analysis? Why do you yeah. think guys are afraid to it's talk? Like, you you there, but you don't really give your honey. Because you are trying to prepare your mentality if you one day, <laughs> you know, she break your heart. <laughs> so you but then like, you moving right? forward, thinking backwards. Nah. Now this thing you think about, you know, okay, it's done. It's done, bro. <laughs> we move on with our lives. No, but like you said, ne? Men are afraid to communicate with women in this day and age. My question is, why do you think that what is happening that is, you know, making men afraid to communicate to women and how can we help them communicate with more women? Because if the men do not engage in women, society will die because men are needed to reproduce. If there's more single men in the world, come on, how we will our grandkids' kids grow and exist? Because men are not reproducing, only a very few, select few number of men is actually interacting with the large amounts of women. And that creates an scarcity in the pool of, let's say, mating, right? So men will be dying out very soon because they are not taking action you know they are not approaching like you said mm. to their niggas are afraid of women they prefer to go on 
Instagram slide in the DM and so many other funny shit that makes no sense. But like real approach in meeting people on the street. I don't see people meeting in the streets anymore. When was the last time you picked up a sheep on the street? Not in the club, just like walking down the street and you're like, hey mama, what did you say? Um, do you like chicken wings, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bruh, that shit always works, bruh. Always. Never fail. Yeah. <clears throat> I get what, you, what you're trying to say, man. But on my humble opinion, this is my opinion. I don't, I don't know if you guys also feel it. But I feel it. Now, nowadays, like, even both genders, they, I see, like, like they're not ready to be in a relationship, you know. <laughs> yeah. Now this it's just a lot more vibes, you know. If you vibe, if you vibe, bro, we move on and see what happens. Yeah, people are scared to get into relationships, bro. Yeah. Nigga, so, here you go going into the vibes. I do not listen, please. You are going again with the vibes. I do not want you to give her first answer. I need you to elaborate. Because if you are one to help me, think of this as you giving an advice to your son on how to improve his pickup in cheat game. It's like when he goes to school, the first thing he will say to his colleague tomorrow, uh-huh. like, hey, mommy, chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, <laughs> you see, the second way I'm thinking about the you keep with the chicken wings. Come on, man, leave the chicken wings alone. <laughs> hey, I am just repeating what you said. That's your okay. best thing for you to pick. I will try it out. Ladies, uh-huh. if you hear me saying, Mommy, the chicken wing just now got it from DJ Pimenta. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So um you need you 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 need the right moment, you know, for you to drop that pickup line because I'm just not gonna walk out out of the blue. Come on, and this is me just being me. It might be different than me. We we don't have the same approach. You know, I might I be that crazy one and you that serious one. You know, we have different approach bro. You know, of course you will not approach somebody like that. The fuck, bro? Right. Like, look at like, my nigga. What's going on? <laughs> right. <laughs> you remember your first heartbreak, and how did that make you feel? Come again. You remember your first heartbreak, and how did that make you feel? Uh, my first heartbreak. God damn, that's some bullshit, bro. Yeah, yeah, be honest, made me strong. Yeah, made me think a lot about life. You know, it's like when you met, when you, when you met your person, you know, and both we are done for whatever, you know, glad or die, this kind of type of shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I just believe that things happen for a reason. Yeah, I was fucked. I was fucked. Yeah, I was doing like this. Love is so bullshit, but that shit doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay. I had to move away. Make me stronger. You had to move on and made you stronger. So, um, what are the yeah. things that you, you have learned within your few years of relationship? Like to avoid conflicts in a relationship, what are your top five lessons that you have learned throughout your relationship years? No, no, I did. I didn't get the first question yet. Come, come what again. Are the question. Learn what are the things that you have learned? Yeah. You know, on avoiding conflicts in a relationship throughout your past few relationships. Uh, to avoid conflict, mm, bruh, there's a lot of things that I do. First, first thing, first thing, you, you, you have to be a very understandable person, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
you there's got some situation i even if it's like an asset not like uh how do i put this wait yes, so okay, thank you put, you got any question for us send them away uh, uh? no i'm I was just reading the comments somebody oh. said very interesting yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. you know first thing first you gotta be very understandable understandable person you gotta be able to True. understand your part you know uh um what else respect like i just like i said if you respect your partner and your partner respects you it doesn't matter it's how angry we can be on a situation we both were able to handle that on a very you know easy without fighting things you know on a calm way not like shouting at each other raising voices yeah what else yeah i think those are the two major ones you know and i'm sure sure you gotta be really good person Uh, yeah. Did the job in a relation did your job ever affect you in any relationship? Huh? Like you being a DJ did ever affect your relationship? Your job and your yeah. profession did ever affect your relationship? Yeah. A lot. A lot of bad ways. Those are like previous previous relationship, previous ones, yeah. yeah. Previous relationship. Mm-hmm. what way did it affect no nah, um especially just by you being a dj you know for girls it's like <laughs> you're a dj <laughs> <laughs> yeah even if if i meet somebody today i won't really give like like my sweet name like mentor hey i'll give her my id name <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'll give her my id name she she doesn't need to know exactly who who is the mentor yeah oh is a dj especially the word a dj <laughs> you know already dj's name is in the streets bro <laughs> especially on girl's mouth yeah is it true what you say about the dj's uh, uh, is it true what they say about the dj's no not really not really because they are not wrong they also they're not wrong because i've been seeing like, <laughs> which, you know, which one is yeah. yeah they're not wrong but not all of us yeah not okay always. me when i leave my house in my head I'm with, unless if i'm with a man then you know after the niggas hit me up like hey kid you can go to the other spot for good beers and then wow yeah okay. what are the Girls best places in- Mm. what are the places in window to pick up chicks that you have experienced <laughs> i don't know bro god damn what a question now i don't even pick this up this is all about the life and the attraction and the night life now uh, i feel like, like most of that that mm-hmm, you have experienced so that you went and then as soon as you walk in there like damn just finest people that you like ooh this is nice Nah, not really. I can see it's nice, bro. It's nice in my head. It's cool. I can even go give a fist bump. But you know, I will give you this. No, 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 no. Not this, bro. Girls also take it also making personally. You're trying to protect yourself. You're not being honest. Nah. Come on, <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really, bro. It's facts, bro. It's facts. If you see a fine years mm-hmm. now they they also you know females they have their own game bro yeah okay they, they also have the idea to see and be like who who can get it you you, you know that <laughs> <laughs> right actually you as a man uh, it's like yeah they, they they also taste us like you know she can she can come to you like you can get it but you cannot just be that easy man i might make you get your number him okay cool tomorrow <laughs> i'll talk to you I might not like picking you up right now just because hey come on bro <laughs> 
they they cannot think like I'm hungry. You know, sometimes girls they think like, okay, we drunk now, I just some day. Oh, is this one? And the hungry nigga will be there, won't say no. Just kidnap and you know, I'm not the angry nigga, bro. Yeah, give me some good reasons. I might even think about it. <laughs> yeah. What are the two yeah. things you look for? Mm. What are the three things you value the most in a relationship? Value the, the most. Yeah. Respect. Respect and time. Yeah. Respect and time. These two things. Yeah. Doesn't matter how busy you, you are, bro. You're gonna have to be a partner. You know, you gotta make time. It doesn't matter how tight it is. You know. I had point I know the witness to busy working, you know, just going out and working. Like on my day off, so my day is off, I don't even go out. Yeah, I rather, I rather spend my whole time at home. You know, spending time with a partner. The blue wave. So, what is your love language? Since the title of the show is the love language, so what is your love language? Quality time, ne? Nah? Words of affirmation or what? My love language. Is it Papa, this tell you. <laughs> yes, it? yeah. The question what? is, what is your love language? Food. Hmm. Food. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Food. So you cook for her, or you like when she cooks for you? Both. Now, Tamaki, Tamaki, top weight. You got some yeah. question in terms of regards to relationship, I guess. I know my. Mm -hmm. What? I didn't hear what you said. What? I said I, I didn't, didn't hear what you said. You like food. Yeah. What is your worst sexual experience? Nah, I don't think I had a worst. Okay, not like all of them were good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, if I had, I can't remember. Yeah, if I had, I can't remember, bro. Yeah, but some crazy ones, god damn. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing situation that you did for somebody in a relationship? Embarrassing. That you look back now, you saw, God damn it, that was childish. Maybe then it was cool, but now you feel like, ish, that was lame ass. <laughs> and a relationship, nah. Remember. Just I, I, I fish. That's not me. Nah. Nah, I can remember. Yeah, because if I try to do something, um, it's like I really mean it. Even if it comes without embarrassment, you know, I won't feel like I I, I was supposed to do it, but I I did anyway. So I don't really take that to heart, you know. Yeah, but good moments. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. I keep good memories, bro. Yeah, yeah. Even embarrassment too. You can embarrass me today and tomorrow treat you like nothing. You know. Ah, uh, come on, fish, stop it. Just <laughs> fish. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You got any question for our boy here? He's a special guest tonight. We're talking about relationships, trying to get some tips and bits from the OG here in regards to 
relationship. That so what do you do to keep your <laughs> Ah, TJ Pimentish. What do you do to make your woman happy? She also goes for the ladies. Anything, bro. Anything on my power. Mm. I wish I could make her extra happier. Mm. You know, what do you think missing for you to make her extra happier? Nah, I can't tell. I can't tell. I'll wait for it to happen, then I'll remind you. <laughs> okay, but do you ask the person the question? I feel like communication is a very big and important thing. Yeah. Do you feel that too? Do you communicate with her? A lot every day. Every day. No. My first text goes to her. Okay. My first text. Yeah. I still my first text goes to her every time I leave the house. You communicate. Yeah. Okay. So what is the happiest moment you remember in your relationship? Mm. What's the happiest moment in your relationship so far? What happened in the relationship? No, what's your, your happiest moment? What's the happiest thing you have done for your partner? Or because you say you love to make it happy. So what's the happiest thing or the happiest moment you have experienced? When I have a baby. I can have a baby. Man. She was like, mm, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Because first of all, man, when we start dating, when we start dating, I I was done with my graduation. I was about to leave even though I was about to, you know, chip out. Yeah, <laughs> what is friends? Then, yeah, we had that fight. Like, bro, if you're cheaping, you know, just forget about this. We're done from here. I'm planning, bro. <laughs> yeah, done. I was like, damn, bro, I can come for holidays or things like that. Nah, she was not willing to go that way. Yeah, so, yeah. If she were to teach then your, think, then your she, son. Yeah, then I think a week after, a week after, yeah, she found out pregnant. Then, yeah, she was happy. And I was happy too, so, yeah, I was still. Nah. So, if you are teaching your son, your son, on how to find a woman to marry, what would be your advice to him? Don't fall in love with the streets. <laughs> Don't fall in love with it. Yeah. Nowadays, man, it's, it's all about, especially for men. Men nowadays, that we don't best. We just want to find somebody that understands our bullshit and we can deal with their bullshit. And we move on with the life, bro. If she can understand you, you know, she respects you, you know, she always trying to make things right. Oh, man. Now this is hard to find the one, bro. Yeah. If you found somebody that finds yeah. the book, yeah, move on. Move on. Not find the love the streets, bro. Find the one that can move on. Yeah. Don't fall in love with the cheese, bro. What are you passionate about? Mm. What are you passionate about? Look, <laughs> <laughs> fish's question. <laughs> in a relationship, yes. Yeah. Great question, very interesting question. Our guest 
as our estimated guest, please answer the question that was sent to us by our yeah. beloved Jazz Fish. What is the best communication tools you guys have learned over the years to solve and find solutions for the bullshit? Communication and respect. Yeah. We, we use a lot this to understand each other. You know, doesn't matter the situation, doesn't matter who fucked up. You know, at least we give a chance to each other to talk, you know, to talk without fighting, like on a very polite way, you know, yeah. And then from there we apologize, you know, you know, we apologize, it's just not gonna be like it is, but you know, you just have to be a very understandable person, you know. Yeah, you guys want to put the life, man. Right. It's actually very interesting that you mentioned apologizing because not too, not too many of us men are actually willing to apologize to our partner when we, you know, even though we are not wrong, some of us would like to instigate the situation more, I guess, or just brush it off. But that you mentioned that you actually have the balls to go and say no baby i'm sorry and not try to do better that actually brings a lot of yeah motivation and inspiring to me bro on the on a on a relationship now you know bullshit happens bullshit happens i won't lie there's no relationship out there like there's no bullshit you, you know bullshit happens a lot but you gotta be able to not let shit slide, especially with your partner. Man. If you see, like, if he, if he is real, especially us as a man, if you really find that girl, like, we feel, you know, like, this one got my back, bro, we even protect ourselves from not doing dumb shit. <laughs> we change, <laughs> you know, we even change our routine because it's not like we are afraid afraid to do some bullshit but we don't even feel that way anymore even that energy to go you know yeah we were more chill i don't know if it's the same with the girls but for me but i've been seeing like happens to me yeah i know how you know yeah you just don't let shit slide you know if she's the one bro don't let us slide too <laughs> Right, because otherwise it goes down in the DM, it goes down. <laughs> yeah. Our next question will still be, what are you passionate about? Uh, uh, what are you passionate about? God damn, I gotta mess your cup of them. Yeah, I like a lot of stuff, bro. Yeah, hey, that's if he said the home is where you find peace, kings. If she gives you the peace, save and she can for life, bro. Yeah, that's for real. life. Yeah, but you it's want possible to, to find peace in the middle of chaos. Sorry, mm -hmm. <clears throat> possible to find peace in the midst of chaos. Peace and prayers, what you mean? I don't get it. To find peace in the midst of chaos, you said, no, <laughs> not exact. <laughs> Fish got it. True, man. <laughs> True. Tell him, bro. <laughs> Tell, him. <laughs> Tell him, bro. Say less. Say less. <laughs> Bruh, see, yeah, but then I'm um, just gonna fight bullshit, bro. Only bullshit in the streets, bro. You won't get nothing the bullshit. I'm telling you. <laughs> How do you let go of a toxic relationship or a toxic partner? Cause you've been in the nightlife. I know you met some crazy wretched chick. How do you just let go of them? Nah, Just we're talking about this. But I even hate 
toxic people, bro. I'll catch you for it. I don't fuck with that bullshit, bro. Nah. I don't fuck with that bullshit, bro. <laughs> To cut you off, bro. Straight. Straight. No toxic shit next to me, bro. You know, I So, it should take a little bit Will you pay everything on be 50-50? Nah, on the first date? Nah, depends. If I can cover, you know, sometimes you're just the chilling, chilling. You don't even know how much you have on your phone. <laughs> Yeah, but if she can cover. No, the dating means you guys communicated and pre agreed that look, on this yeah, day, on that course. day, we're going to go out and this way with that. So, who pays for the first date? I don't think that really matters. If I can cover for everything on first dates, yeah, why not? Yeah, it's even better. You know, it's even better. That, 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 we of have course it's principle. Gonna... I know that. Right. <laughs> we were told mm-hmm. to be a man, bro. We just have to be the man. You exactly. know, the man will do whatever. We just have to be the man. Is even okay? Some people, there's some guys they feel embarrassed, like mm-hmm. when you go chill with a chick, and. And the chick is the one playing for from some for some big guy it's it's okay <laughs> but for me at them bro unless it unless it's with somebody that you know we, we really have how do I even put it we really, really know each other you know we really talk yeah this is okay like, it's like a homie play for a round yeah that's okay but no wait you said on the first day god damn, nah i was just playing bro it's okay. No. Nah. Yeah, but you can't <laughs> play with Unless if it's a homie, bro. I have a couple of chicks, like friends. They call me to go to you. Like, what are you doing today? You're free today. We're going to dance to that. No, that's that, bro. And, and the way that's you going out with the, the way we, friend. the way we, and the way we are connected, man, and the way we are friends. I'm so free. I feel so free to tell them, hey, I cannot go out today. I'm broke. You know, they'll be like that. They say, nah, it's, it's fine. You know, <laughs> she just pull up. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Uh, then I'll go. You mentioned about friends. Mm-hmm. Do you think a guy and a girl can become friends? Is there such thing as a guy and a girl being friends? Oh, yeah. something will always no, fuck up on the line. There is. I have a couple of friends, bro. Girls, yeah. And we friends, you just friends, bro. Nothing more than you know. Yeah, they may know my girl, so yeah, we just do. Yeah. Hey, there's also some. No. Mm-hmm. Pretty interesting. So, what are the things that you do to protect your woman or your relationship life, man, apart from your crazy nightlife? Like to protect and shield her from all the craziness that happens when you are outside of the house. I don't get that question, bro. Bring it again. What are the things that you do to protect ne, your partner ne, from your crazy night, crazy shit life to assure her? Because let's say right now you are playing in Swap Up Moon and out of the blue, a chick is talking to you on the E and somebody films it, sends it to her and it looks as if you are kissing, as if you are doing blah, blah, blah. And then she might come and yell at you. How do you do to avoid such situations? Whoa. Um, just trust, bro. Trust, because she's also somebody that I cannot control. You know, but if you will, if we respect each other and we trust each other, doesn't matter wherever I go, if she trusts me, you know, she won't really think I'm doing some dumb shit. You know, yeah. The same as you, you cannot even some guys they don't feel comfortable like their girlfriend going out with the friends, like for a girl's night, the nigga be like, what the fuck? You know, but if you trust your girl, you let her go, right? It is it's just about trust, bro. But you know, she's telling you, I'm going out with the friends to have a drink. 
you know, you cannot be that cocky nigga like, you know, if you trust your girl, you let her go. But if you don't, is where the stress come in. It's what like is your life. biggest fear in a relationship? <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think I fear that, bro. I don't really fear anything. Yeah, I don't really fear anything, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm a very straightforward, bro. If it's not working, it's not working. You know, even if the person drops me the next morning, you just gotta be able to get life and move on, man. If it's gone, it's because what True. meant was not meant to be. <laughs> Okay, now we are in the speed round. The speed round is a round of question whereby I ask you um, five questions simultaneously and you only have to answer one or the other. There's no need for explanation. You do not need to explain, you know. <laughs> But before we go to that question, the first question would be, have you ever cheated in your past relationship? Uh huh? Have you ever cheated in your past relationship? Uh, 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 not no. So you also a firm believer that black men don't cheat? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so you also a believer of black that black men don't cheat? No, I don't believe in that bullshit. That's some bullshit, right? What? <laughs> you know what? Niggas, I'm never hungry. I've seen it. Even True. It's like the hungriest niggas are the ones in relationship. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I see niggas yeah. hunting, man. God damn. Uh, but I, niggas I, I, I wonder, bro, you got a girlfriend, bro, what the fuck are you doing in the streets? <laughs> yeah, niggas. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but then if I'm in a relationship with you, with a specific somebody, am I not expected to get it from home? Why don't the ladies give it up to the niggas? Why is he going to because i heard from so many history that married people or people in a long-term relationship have less amounts of sex why is that i don't know man people are tired <laughs> people get tired <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. But this is the first time that you're gonna be having sex once you are 60. <laughs> Have you ever seen, imagine yourself having sex with the same person, like 60 years old? No, I believe that thing. Like, just things change. <coughs> things change. Things change. You think you value different things once you get to that age? I don't even think. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't get the question. Changing question: How important is sex for you in a relationship? Get your way. Who pulled up just now? Mm, I heard voices. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I, won't, I don't want to be, be here lying that is not really me that I. You know, bro, we need it. It's important, bro. Yeah, in a relationship. What are the three things? Even imagine, imagine you the being in a relationship. You just met the girl, and you guys are like three years or four years together. You guys never had like sex. You be like, I'm really in a relationship. I don't know, man. It's not like I won't lie. It's not really important. It's, it's important. Yeah. yeah. What are the yeah. three components of a good relationship? Three component that what of a healthy relationship. Uh 
Okay, I would say first one is love because you cannot you cannot be in a relationship and you, you don't really love that person. Yeah, love, love respect. Okay, so love, love respect, and. Uh, mm. Brown, okay, <laughs> we're gonna finish.